Today, we're just for fun showing you guys gaming computers. So let me just jump into the screen real quick. I'll give you a quick tutorial on how to actually set up the miner for your gaming computer. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's jump into the meat and bones of this video. The first thing you want to do is you want to download the actual software for the mining itself. The current one that I'm using is called Claymore's Dual Miner. I've used it for a while, and the beauty of what they do is that you can actually technically mine two coins if you want to. Uh, but for this case, we're not going to be jumping into that. We're just going to be talking about Ethereum. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to actually download the software. You can go to the website and just press download now. I believe for Claymore's Dual Miner, there's actually a password that you got to type in and the password's Claymore to extract the file. So you wanna download the file to your desktop and extract it. It's gonna look like something like this right here. Okay, from here, you're gonna double click it and open it so that when you extract it, you'll see the file folder like this. All right, double click that. And you're gonna see a whole bunch of different coins, a whole bunch of different pools. Okay, for the simplicity of this video, I'm just gonna use the nano pool right here, the first one for Ethereum. But again, you could jump into other coins if you want to in different pools, right? So. The first thing I want to do is you want to right click this and press edit. Okay. And it's going to bring up a screen that looks like this. This is basically the code that you want to edit to make sure you get paid out. So the first one you want to look at, let's look at the website really quickly because it gives a really good explanation of it. And then we'll look at the actual code. So the first thing you want to do is you want to change your rig's name because you might have, you know, multiple computers. You don't have to change the rig name, you know, but you could to whatever you want, right? You could just put it right there. And then the second thing you want to do is you want to get your wallet address. Okay. So wherever you want your Ethereum to go, right. Once you actually mine it, where is it going to go? Right. You have to have a wallet to receive it. So let's look at the actual project file so we can do that for ourselves. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look at the, the actual file that we opened again. If you don't know how to do it, just press right click edit, and it should open a notepad. And this is what it looks like right here. This is the actual address you want to change. If you guys don't know what a public address is, maybe you shouldn't be doing this, but just to give you a quick tutorial, all you have to do is like, let's say you have MetaMask, for example, you just take your public address, right? So this would be in this case, this address right here, copy that to the clipboard. Then you can go back to the actual bat file and paste that in there right there. Boom, just paste it in there. And now your actual Ethereum will go to your wallet and then you can just change the name if you want to, but let me see where the name is at. So it says E worker and then your name. So you can change it to, I don't know, let's just do a test, right? There you go. So that's the actual name of your miner. And that's how you actually send it to your address. So you go over here and you save that. So this will actually save the bat file. And now the bat file will send the cryptocurrency to your address and it's ready to go. So from here, you just want to double click like that. Okay. So it'll pull up this file here and we'll go over all the details of what's going on. I mean, you don't need to know everything, but we will go over the details. Let me just run this a little bit um, and then we'll dive into it. So just understand that each of these have different types of pools. Pools are important to understand because, you know, you can't just connect to the Ethereum blockchain itself and run your own pool unless you have like a huge, you know, database. If you have a lot of different miners, you might be able to pull it off because remember, guys, it's a random lottery system. So being a part of a pool increases your odds of winning so that when that pool does win the actual proof of work, um, you know, uh, consensus mechanism, then they'll split up the Ethereum amongst all the people in equal distributions. Uh, to, you know, how many mega hashes that you have, right? So if we open up the website here, so you can actually go to the website itself. And if we open it up, this is the nano pool. So the first one's actually, again, sending it to the nano pool, as you can see here, Ethereum nano pool. If we open up this actual website, you know, eth.nanopool.org, you can see that there's a whole bunch of different analytics. If you want to see your analytics and see how much you're making, what's the average mega hashes, you know, how much money you have in your wallet, all you have to do is take that same public address that you have your receiving wallet, go ahead and type it in here. Obviously I'm not going to have, you know, anything because I haven't really mined anything yet. But if we look at somebody else's, for example, we click their random address. You can see that, you know, showing the calculated hash rate it's showing how much their balance is, uh, their last reported hash rate, how long they've been doing it. All the different analytics that you guys need to run a successful Ethereum mining operation will be here. All you have to do is type in the address right there.